everybody. Welcome to Fortman Firearms. This is a second or first part, depending on what order we release it in. This is going to be the more in-depth version of our kit breakdown. Jumping right into it, we will start with the helmet. This is an Opscore Fast Bump Helmet. We have some Peltors on here. And um, right here we have a battery slash counterweight. We decided, since we don't have MVGs, that we would fill it up with basic medical stuff. I'm not going to open it up because it's a pain to put back together. But you know, we live in Florida, so I put mosquito pouches in there, boo-boo pouches, stuff like that. Most people in their kit have, like, trauma stuff. But then you ask for a Band-Aid because you're cut, cut and nobody's got a Band-Aid. So definitely one thing I'll say is bring stuff for minor boo-boos. All right. Jumping to the belt, what I got on there. I got a pistol. Uh, wrap holster. It's I use a wrap holster because I haven't exactly nailed down what type of pistol I want, so I can't exactly just have multiple Safari Land holsters. So we're using a wrap for now. Got a nice Benchmade knife, just a u utility tool or something. You know, basic. Anything you need out there. Um, right here we got a radio. Usually I keep that on my plate carrier, but I decided I put them on my radio. And as I said, PTT right there. Now getting into the more big boy in depth stuff. We have my Agilite K19. So opening off, this is the uh, six-pack hanger pouch. I have a review out for that. I'll go check that out right now. In here, I keep a compass, basic medical stuff, in case shrapnel hits you or something like that. Um, just basic flashlight and a lighter. So that's my main pouch. And in the secondary pouch right here, a uh, magnifying glass, which I use as like a fire starter. And then we have a little mini compass, which I really like. So, so. Um, moving on up here, uh, you know, pretty basic. Just a three mags. Uh, right here we keep a notepad. Uh, nothing special. Oh, and for this. Pins. We don't have tourniquets yet, but. This is where it's a bit more serious. So, right here we have an emergency thing if your case lost in the force or something. And right here, a mask. I'm not wearing it right now. I don't know if YouTube will take it down. But, you know, put that back in there. Now, usually in here I keep my hat. Ow. Usually in there I keep my hat. Hat's in the truck right now. So, yeah. Now, unzip this baby and uh, check it out. Now that we've got it open, break it down. First right here, uh, we have some gloves, all these gloves. They got good leather grip. Supposed to at least. Sharpie. This, um, I just found it in a drawer. I thought it'd be useful. You can unscrew stuff with it in case you need that. So, I just put it right here. Now, okay, so... Whatever, we'll fix that later. These are first paper magazines. I don't have any magazines there. Right here, uh, I have a lighter and a big, or a tiny little notepad. I'm not gonna take it out though. So, right here, some uh, medical. Right there, I got a flag. Then right here, I got two antennas and an extra knife. Always carry an extra knife. That's something I've not seen a lot of people do. Now, bring this right here. Down to one arm here, so I think it's I have duct tape. Please carry duct tape. I don't see anybody carrying duct tape. It's going to be very useful. Whether you're taping cords or something down, very useful. I live in Florida, so I have a poncho. Duh. It's about to rain out here right now. So, I should probably get rid of that. And, uh, yeah, there's my kit. That is the pack broken down. I don't know what that was. We'll figure it out in a second. As I said, two antennas. Thingy fell out. That is the back of the pack. All shown. Now, let's cut while I struggle to close this. Alright, everybody. This is going to be it for today's Florida Man Firearms video. Hope you enjoyed. Stay fit, stay trained, stay healthy. That's all today. Goodbye, everybody.